What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. It's your boy. We back. It's Doc Holiday. We back with another HBCU Overdrive live stream. If you haven't done it by now, make sure that you hit that. Hit that. Hit that like button. Get that algorithm going. Make sure you share this with all your people. Comment. Good comments. Make sure we get some good comments in, in the stream. For the stream and also the main thing is we want to subscribe we want to get the subscriber count up and we wanted to make sure that it stays up for the foreseeable future y'all have to excuse me i'm getting contact bothering me y'all so you have to excuse me Excuse me, y'all. Let me, let me, uh, Okay, we back now. I apologize, y'all. I've been having I'm having a difficulty with my contacts, but like I said, man, man, we are back again. We are here. Uh it's been a minute since I've done an afternoon show. Uh usually I do afternoon shows during football season as we do a, a film breakdown, but since there ain't no football going on right now, you know, we gotta settle for the next best thing. So oh man. Uh, first off, I want to, um, I want to give a shout out to Timona, AKA She Loves D for coming on to the show last night to, you know, give me her input about the Coach Prime documentary. Um, also about what we need to do as as far as HBCUs to get back on a level playing field and how we should be able to get back on a level playing field. And for those that were in the, in the chat 
that basically was trying to bash her, trying to dog her because they said she doesn't know anything. I'm going to let y'all know something on the real. We would not condone that. I would not condone that whatsoever. So if you're coming in a chat, make sure you're coming in with the with a positive vibe, positive energy, because we're not going to go ahead. We're not going to do that. We're not going to bash that young lady for uh, speaking her mind, um, spelling out some truth. Um, and enlightening us because that's what this show is all about. It's about enlightening, it's about entertain, it's about entertainment, it's about sports, it's about doing the culture, it's about everything when it comes to HBCUs. So let's uh let's uh base, let's get to the point where we're not going around, you know, bashing each other, bashing uh the you know. Uh, this young lady, uh, that she's also about to start off her, her own podcast. So let's make sure that we go support her uh, whenever she launches that podcast. But she's been dropping like fire uh, vignettes for, you know, video vignettes about certain things, you know, players coming back to the school, players uh, signing to the school. Uh, And and so forth. So that's that's the thing we're gonna do. That's that's what we're gonna do uh, from now on. So um, I'm gonna support her. She's support me. Uh, we support uh, each other, and we support other HBC creators, uh, content creators that's in this space. So therefore, we should not be able to. You know, therefore, we don't need all that negative energy and you know for people that the the some of them, some people that was in the chat yesterday um was pretty much being more misogynistic if you really think about it like asking her did she play d1 athletics doesn't matter if she played or not she knows sports she knows sports more than most women would know sports right now you know and that's a very you know Small percentage, but I'm going to I'm going to be there and make sure that she is um, going to be good on the up and up when her podcast comes out. Um, and like I said, you can either you, you can either follow me. You can be you know be cool, calm, collective. Be be uh, genuine, or you can, I mean, you can unfollow. You can unfollow. I mean, that that's about the best thing you can do. You can unfollow because I would not uh, condone. What up, Edwin? <laughs> I would not condone any type of slander, any type of bashing on my channel. Never that. And um, since we at it, y'all, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not about to attack nobody, but since we at it, um, this person right here, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and the channel. And um, I am. I'm not gonna play the video, but what I am going to show y'all is some of the 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 the, the things that were said in the comments, and you know, my whole thing about this is. If you don't, if you don't like it, you ain't got to come on here. You don't have to come to the channel. You don't have to do anything. What up, Lowe's? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to come on to the channel. You don't have to do anything. You can sit your happy tail at the house and be miserable. So, 
Um, let me see. If I'm... Um, and we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna copy it. So, this is from this was from um, West Green. Let me put it here. Um, so, basically, what he said was and this is where I do the line that this is why I got my statement. Um, he he text he he put in a comment that this young lady's terrible. She doesn't know football. It's sad, and also she's black. And it's real sad. I just got finished talking to a black columnist that works for ESPN, and she said she doesn't know anything about the game. She's talking out the side of her neck, and it's real real sad. We had a ball player from the Los Angeles, California, that came out there and said only he. Only thing he wanted to see was that what Coach Sanders built, which was locker room, the football lounge, and the live football in the football field. I said, right, that's all he wanted to see. What Coach Sanders built, the school then built, build it. Uh, Taylor didn't uh, build it. It was Coach Sanders and his and his people that built this topic. Quick. For perpetrate, only thing you got was a couple of things that Coach Sanders left. Okay, you won't be, you won't be on airplanes. You'll be back on riding, back on buses. Okay, it's all, it's a lot of stuff that will be changing. First of all, sir, just sir, and I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you, but I'm about to hit you with that. Uh, first of all. My my like I said, my esteemed guest last night. She out. She loves me. She has pretty much an extensive knowledge about sports because if she doesn't have an extensive knowledge about sports, she doesn't have the knowledge about sports. She wouldn't be trying to do a sports show. Um. Second of all, when you know you talking about. You, you're talking to a black columnist with ESPN. Obviously, you're of uh, the pale persuasion, which is Caucasian. Um, we do not care who you talk to. We do not care. This is, well, I'm going to tell everybody, this is my channel. This is my channel. This is my show. This is what I built my own back, my own two feet. And for you to talk about we're going to be riding buses again because the airplane deal is going to go, that's through the school, you dummy. The school came up with, with the sponsorship for American Airlines. The school... What's up, man? Thank you, man. The school... was doing the renovations of the Walter Payton Center before Coach Dion got there. All right? Dion expedited the, the work because he wanted to show it out to other people. Let's just keep real. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it 100 like all the youngsters say. Let's keep it 100. Okay? But it was already, that was already in place. Now, what I don't want you to do is go out here and attack me and attack my people for stuff that we talked about. And, like, seriously, you more, you dick riding Dion more than most of the other people was dick riding for Dion. And then this is why I know that this is this is how I know that you're white. 
this is how I know that you like West Green. West Green. This is how I know that you are of the pale persuasion. This is how I know you are of a pale persuasion. All right, so this is where he made his other statement, y'all. And like I said, man, West Green, you know, he's like I said, he's a the, he's a the, the president of the people of the caucus. All right, he says, "Man, stop it! You black people are disgusting. That's why we can't have we can't as a people go anywhere. That's why the black actors here will not give that state any money. That's why a lot of black corporations will not give Jackson." Jackson State any money. They see how you act when someone has built up your program with his own money, with his own contacts. You guys had nothing. You guys had losing season. And look how you acted. You just want people to give, give, give. You just want, you just want people to give. You just want people to give. You take, take a wide way. Don't you talk about your president? Why don't you? Talk about your upper administration. Why don't you talk about the border reach? More the reasons. Why don't you talk about a young man laying dead in the parking lot? Why don't you talk about all the the, the rankings for the the, the rankings in for the cars? Why don't you talk about the cheating, the embezzlement? You already had three presidents cheating the building money, and this one right here is going to be looked at. Stop it. So this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to, before we get to my main. My main point, right? Um, so, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a person right here that is of a white, like, look, I don't care. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to put it just like this. This is a white man right here. Name West Green, white man. All right. He's talking about you black people. First of all, that is a, that's a red flag when you telling us you black people that, you, sir, you are a Racist and your racism has come out to show its ugly self. And I'm putting you on blast on my show for everybody to see during this afternoon when you could have just kept everything to yourself and just shut the hell up. So, so my thing is when it comes down to it, bro, you are a racist. You are a racist. That's it, that's all. And I'm just putting it just like this. If you don't like what you hear on my show, you can take your excuse me, you can take your tail, your pale tail off of it. On blank. You ain't gotta like it. You ain't gotta watch it. You ain't gotta subscribe to it. You ain't gotta give me five dollars every month. You ain't gotta do none of that stuff. And while you at it, how about this? How about I just go ahead and report you to YouTube? Because where you the way you came at me and the way you came at my my people on my show, uh, that was basically you you're racist, racist, racist. Name is West Green. That is his handle. That is if you go on the on the on the comments, West Green, and he had a lot to say about my show from last night because why he. Seems to be on Dion's face. And I've already said we done moved on. We've already said we moved on. We are in the era of TC Taylor. We are in, we are not rebuilding. We are reloading because we're trying to go for that three peak of winning the slack again. Point blank, period. That's it. That's it. And like I said, I told him. And here's the fun fact. If you don't like what I or we're talking about, then you can kind of get off my channel and go listen to those other channels because I come straight from the hip. My mission is not to please you, so I thank you for listening, but you can take your sad, you know what, off my channel and go watch some other schmucks channel. Point blank. Point blank. That's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. 
you had no business trying to bash my you had no business trying to bash my 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 guest last night. You had you had no business going and insinuating all these rhetoric this you know toxic rhetoric on my channel. Whatever whatsoever. All right. Cause I know what I got. We know what we got. Uh we know we good. Over on fourteen hundred J.R. Lynch Street, Jackson, Mississippi, three nine two one seven. We good. We good over there. All right. So please, 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 if you're gonna come back on my show, you come back. If you come watch my show, don't be no keyboard gangster. Do not be a keyboard gangster, cause I will air you out. Don't be a keyboard gangster. I will air you out. And on that note, <laughs> ah, it's your boy Doc Holiday. We're back with another HBCU Overdrive Live show. Make sure that you like this stream to get that algorithm jumping. Make sure that you share this with your people. Comment, good comments, good vibrations, and also, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're already a, a, a subscriber to the channel, become an exclusive member of the channel for only. Only, only four ninety nine. You get everything. You get all the membership perks. You get when I go online. When I go on, on when I do go online. When I when I hit that drop that stream, you get everything before everybody else. So if you want to drop that four ninety nine, and also if you don't feel like doing that, you want to just drop a cash app. You know, cash app is in my on my Twitter handle. It's uh, on the ticker, cash app, uh, dollar sign, holiday, 1925. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's all, all the money that we get that goes to, that comes in for the channel, it goes to the channel. Not just in my pocket, it goes to the channel. All right. What's going on, Alvin? What's going on, man? <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, you have to read my rant. You, you have to probably go back and see what my rant was earlier. Um, but we, we, we all go, you know, we all do it over there. So, today's show is The Curious Case. A copy state basketball. <laughs> and you know, Bill, I had to go back and do my uh my PowerPoints again because I ain't did it in a minute. I ain't did it in a minute. I ain't did it since football season. Uh I ain't did it in the football season, but you know I'm about to do my PowerPoints. PowerPoints is right back on is back on top, y'all. Uh so So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna thank uh, my guy Bill for sending me the link to the uh, to this story. I, I I did read it, and I'm actually going to um, actually just gonna go ahead and um, put it on there. You know, we're gonna be um, reading this on this. I thank them for uh, uh, sending this to me right here. Uh, they they want me to be great today, man. Right. So what we gonna do? Yeah, we'll do all the time. 
But anyway, this is coming from the Baltimore Brew. Um, I think the story came out uh, January the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, all right. So, former players who compensate over alleged sexual assault and blackmail by assistant coach. A lurid scheme of sexual harassment and extortion played out under the nose of a celebrated head basketball coach, a lawsuit said. All right. So, a Coppin State University assistant basketball coach catfished the player online, provided intimate photos of sex, then blackmailed him into a videotape and a sexual encounter before publicizing the material. When they, when the said player resisted further demands for sex, a lawsuit filed in Baltimore City Court, City Circuit Court judge, uh, court alleges. The legal complaint says, by information and belief, so let's, 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 let's take a, a look at this, y'all. And I'm going to stop sharing, but we're going to keep reading after this. All right. So we talked, like I said, Curious Case of Copper State Basketball. All right. Said complainant, uh, said person that's suing is none other than Ivan Williams. Ivan Williams, uh, I think he came in as a transfer from Morehouse College up to uh, Coppin in Baltimore to play basketball for a said Juan Dixon. Uh, yes, Coppin State is an HBCU. They really they don't have a football team because they gave football up in, uh, I think, in early 60s or 70s. So they have a pretty kind of almost story basketball program. Uh, I say the word. Uh, so Ivan Williams is the person that's uh, suing the school and the person uh, that was catfishing him for undisclosed stuff. All right. This person right here, this, this joker right here. Yeah. You see, I'm pointing at him. His name is Lucian Brownlee. Lucian Brownlee used to, was, did play for Coppin State also. And after he graduated, he was named um, director of player development and the director of basketball operations. So basically, he was in charge of uh, making sure the players are developed uh, physically and mentally and scholastically in uh, basketball operations. He was over, I want to say too much over the basketball team, but anything that had anything to do with basketball, this, 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 this joker right here was in charge of it, all right? And he was named that. So the person who named Mr. Brownlee the director of player uh, uh, basketball operations and player development is none other than Juan Dixon. Juan Dixon, if you do not know who Juan Dixon is, he is the head coach of Coppin State. But if you really don't, if you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty of it, Juan Dixon, Juan Dixon was the standout point guard slash shooting guard for the Maryland Terrapins who won a national championship in 2002. It's the only national championship that Maryland has won in their basketball program. All right? So, so now, um, let, me get, let me get back to it. So, that way, y'all, we, we, we got everything. We got everything going on right here. So, um, in fact, I'll read it from my phone. So that way I can kind of control, um, control the people, you know, control my, my, <laughs> my, uh, dang it. Power form. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I got a brain part. <laughs> All right. So, uh, like I said, uh, Lucian Brownlee was a former guard who served as 
director of player development and director of basketball operations, harassed, tormented, and sexually assaulted the player Ivan Williams before publishing intimate material he had obtained from the student. Or that's, that's a blackmailing type is right there, man. Captain basketball coach Juan Dixon, who is named in the complaint, allegedly failed to take action when informed of Brownlee's action. Now, now this this sounds some y'all know what this sounds like. This sounds like some um. And if you know what Penn State was, y'all know what Penn State was. You know, Sandusky uh, uh, sexually assaulting the kids in, you know, the Penn State facilities, uh, uh, football facilities. Uh, it was already, it was alleged that um, they told Coach Paterno at the time with what was going on. And Coach Paterno, I am going to say Coach Paterno turned his back, but Coach Paterno turned it over to uh, his higher up and basically his higher up were trying to hide the truth from, uh, from everybody. So, so in a sense, I, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know if he let the debauchery happen, but Mr. Dixon, this ain't a good look for your basketball program. And this is surely not a good look for you, man. This surely is not a good look for you. This surely not a good look for your basketball program. Like for real, for real. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to. Um. So he, you know, legendary figure in Baltimore and beyond. Dixon is the former University of Maryland standout and NBA player who copped and hired in the spring of 2017. Also named in the lawsuit filed last week is <clears throat> the school itself, Coppin State University. Whose officials, rather than supporting the distraught Williams, allegedly questioned him harshly and retaliated against him by withdrawing previously promised financial assistance. So, guess what? Hey, Captain, you got some explaining to do, man. Y'all have some, you got some explaining to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, 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 rip, clutch your pearls, clutch your pearls. So, y'all got some explaining to do, for real. Um, the way he was treated was abhorrent, said Williams attorney Daniel Donnie Epstein of the New Jersey law firm Epstein Oxford in a phone interview. Epstein said they were able to build their case despite the anonymous blackmailer purporting to be a third party. A strong belief is that Lucian himself was the catfisher as being said. So, so this person right here is was the alleged catfisher. Um, even if Brownlee was just a fellow victim of an anonymous tormentor, the minute he became a coach, he had an obligation to report any sexual harassment as being said. So basically. Once you you don't you're not a player no more. You're not a player no more, Mr. Brownlee. You are a <clears throat> you are in the capacity of coaching. You are in the capacity of leading young men on the football whatever football field or basketball court so they can develop into an athlete and go on to either the NBA or any other league that's out there uh, around the world. All right? And Dixon, having prior knowledge of issues with Brownlee, according to the complaint, should never have placed him in a position of authority over players, as they said. So now, here we go back to this. We go back to this, y'all. Juan Dixon, if you knew about Brownlee and you knew about what Brownlee was, <laughs> what's up, Russell, man? Thank you. What's up, Russell? 
you if you knew about Brownlee beforehand, you should have never made him any type of coach, any type of director of anything for your basketball program. If you knew he had he he was a problem from the jump, you should have got rid of him. That's how you do that. That is how you do that. So like I said, you got some explaining to do, compensate. You have some explaining to do. You have some explaining to do. And and the reason why I say that this this reminds me of the Penn State situation is because the school, if the school knew about it, and they brushed it under the, you know, they brushed it under the rug. They are, they are complicit to everything that's going on. It's gonna get nasty. It's already out there. It's, it's nasty. It's already nasty. It's already out there, man. And I know they need to sell it out of court. I, I mean, you want to sell it out of court because, yes, you don't want the school to, to, to have that black eye. But the way it's going right now, it, it's, it's pretty much. It, it's already nasty, bro. It's already, it's already done. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The brew, okay, so Brew was not able to reach Brownlee, so like Baltimore Brew is the uh, source you are getting this from, so it is fair use. Uh, Dixon did not respond to a phone message and an email requesting comment about the matter, nor did the school's athletic director, Derek Carter. Uh, so, if, so if Juan Dixon knew about it and Derek Carter is his higher up, which is, you know, the chain of command, then Derek Carter should have went to the authorities to try to get this all settled. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Coppin State University spokeswoman Robin McCullough uh, responded to an email by saying Coppin State University does not comment on pending litigation. Of course, you're not going to comment on litigation because you're in the litigation. Um, and then you're already kind of in the oh, you're in the 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 the, the, the light of uh, how you do it during your basketball program. Uh, Coppin of HBCU in, Mar in the Maryland State University system is known as Morgan State. Crosstown rival, like many Division One NCAA programs, it operates on a shoestring budget, working its players hard. In the fall of 2021, or shortly after the events alleged in the lawsuit occurred, Sports Illustrated featured the team in a story about its arduous road schedule, which it called a sadistic slate of $80,000 guaranteed games. You're on the road, maybe. So early in the season, you early early in the season when the season starts, most teams, most HBCU teams are on the road, regardless. For you to have your team go barnstorm for the first maybe. 10 to 12 games of the season before you start your conference play and to get 80, only $80,000 guaranteed, you know, for guaranteed games. I mean, y'all call it it's a statistic slate, the $80,000 $80, guaranteed game. That says you do anything for a dollar. I'm just, I'm just saying, that, that says you do anything for a dollar. It's a challenge for the team's leader. I don't know many of many know of many head coaches who are watching their players dirty laundry every night. Dixon says in the piece, joking that his water bill water bill back home spikes at the game night. 
Brownlee appears to no longer be working for the university. He, quote unquote, in the wind, as Ben said. As of the SI story, his scheduling job was being done by another person who is extensively quoted in the piece. Uh, so yeah, that, they figured they fired him because of the fact that, like, dude, you already put us in a, in a total prediction. But I'm gonna say it's already a prediction. Everybody that's named, everybody that's on here, not named Ivan Williams, has some form of prediction. Uh, escalating the game. So, read up. Williams said in a complaint that he received a message through social media in the fall of his freshman year from a woman who seemed interested in a romantic relationship. He, quote unquote, was enticed into sending messages, images of himself through this person of a sexual nature that he believed were private and in the context of a developing romantic relationship. Lawson said, man, this sounds like some it also sounds like some anti Teo type shit right here. The online paramour then started blackmailing Williams, straightening to publish the photos and text unless he provided more salacious material. The text continued through the 2018-2019 basketball season while Williams, quote, in fear of losing his place in the basketball program, his tuition and room and board payment continue to respond to the person messaging him in a futile, futile attempt to appease his tormentor. So, this Brownlee basically kept threatening him. If you kept, if you don't keep sending me these pictures right here, I'm going to air everything out. This Brownlee got he ain't got he, he he ain't got all his screws tight. This Bradley ain't got his yeah he ain't got his he ain't got his head screwed on tight, y'all. So, no, it wasn't payments to Bradley. The payments to Bradley uh was was, was him. Mr. Williams sent it in the picture and the text. That was his payment to Brown. And he is the money because that man ain't got you. Oh my God. In the spring of 2019, Williams learned from Coach Brownlee, then a senior who would return the next year as a staff member, that Brownlee had also, quote, exchanged sexual content with plaintiff's tormentor, unquote. The blackmailer then ordered, quote, quote unquote, ordered the two men to have sex with each other according to the lawsuit. Williams refused at first, but when he returned to campus in the fall, the blackmailer demanded that Williams quote record, record and send a video of Plaintiff and Lucian Brownlee engaging in oral sex, unquote. According to the lawsuit, Williams complied. My God, what the hell? What is, man, what? Oh, my goodness. All right. So now here's another thing. The father gets involved. <laughs> In December of 2019, the blackmailer instructed Williams that Brownlee was going to coordinate a sexual encounter with him. According to the lawsuit, Williams resisted, hoping his non-response would end the blackmail, prompting warnings the blackmailer would wild out. Williams sent videos of himself, but the blackmailer insisted on one of himself having sex with Brownlee, sending repeated messages providing Coach Brownlee's availability. The back and forth continued through March 2020, according to the lawsuit. So basically, March 2020, that's when the, you know, the world stopped for a extended period of time because that was Coach. Uh, by information and belief, the blackmailer was Coach Brownlee, the complaint said. Unable to tell anyone what was happening and contemplating suicide, 
Williams told his family he was uncomfortable with the rampant drug use on the team during his frequent away game. That prompted his father to arrange a meeting with top officials, the complaint says, in which Dixon, quote, indicated that he was helpless to address the drug issue in any meaningful way, unquote, and, quote, was adamant that plaintiffs should stay with the program, unquote. Okay. Mr. Dixon, you are the head coach of the basketball team, of the men's basketball team. You oversee everything the men's basketball program. That's you. That's, that's, that's you. That's you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I will give you That's you. 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 You got, yeah, you, you got the, 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 the top of state university, you know, the, the, the logo on your chest. That's you. You the head coach. You the head coach. Like seriously. You you're the head coach. All right. So for you to say that you can't do anything about the rampant drug use around your your, your basketball program is bull job. I mean, that's, that's just me. You're, you're, that's, that was a weak response right there. Because now, this player's father, this player's father right here is involved. And when kids, when kids, parents get involved, y'all know, y'all know how we're parents. Both of us on here are parents. I'm a parent. You know, if, if I get involved with some, with my kids going on at high school, it's going to be some furniture moving because I want to know what's up. I want to know what's up, especially since I got girls. And I got I got three boys, too. Uh, my stepson. But I'm going to want to know what's up because there's going to be some furniture moving if you're messing with my kids. Point blank. Uh, when Williams returned to the campus in the fall of 2020, the blackmail of threats continued. This time, Williams didn't respond, and that's when the material used to blackmail plaintiff was published and revealed to members of the team, staff, and the public, the lawsuit says. Epstein says the material appeared on Instagram and has since been taken down. Um... The lawsuit says Coppin took no action except to terminate the Dixon housing and switch the system. That's crazy. Dixon directed Williams to come to practice the next day where the two met, and according to the complaint, Dixon admitted that Lucian Brownlee was mentally ill or otherwise emotionally imbalanced and that his history was known to the coach, the athletic director, and the school. So, So, oh, this kid right here, Ivan Williams was contemplating suicide because he was still getting tormented by this stuff here right here. And now you find, you tell, you tell the kid, you tell Mr. Williams that this Bradley got, he's, he's, he's unstable in the head. But you and the athletic director knew about it. Y'all knew about it. Y'all knew how this kid was, and you you did not sit down and tell this uh, this young man about what's going on. But the complaint says the school whose policy on sexual misconduct prohibits rape, sodomy, quid pro quo, stalking, sexual exploitation, coercion, and retaliation, quote unquote, took no action to remedy the situation. 
Williams asked for an investigation in which, according to the lawsuit, a lawyer for the university further traumatized him with questions about his sexual past and orientation. So you mean to tell me somebody asked you, this man got, this kid got questioned about his sexual orientation, his sexual past. But, but, but what I'm thinking and what I'm reading, this kid is not, he, he, he doesn't swing that way. That's what I'm getting. You don't swing that way. But for you to to go in and 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 try to, I guess in a sense, defame this kid because it asked about his his sexual exploitation and stuff like that. Oh man, that's that that's downright dirty as hell. They are right dirty. And it is scandalous. It's scandalous. It's scandalous to the point where you be want like on the real, you be want to break you gonna try to break me. It feels me out of ten fault, every last one of them. I don't care if I go to jail or not. Just have my bail money ready. Just have my bail money ready. That's it. That's it. That's all. Just have a bill money ready. When I go to jail, just I I, I tell my wife, shit. Look, I go to jail. Just 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 make sure I have my bill money ready. That's it. That's it. That's all. So, just just be real with y'all. I um, just be real with y'all, man. Look, I I can't, I can't, bro. I can't. Fathom. Like for real, I can't fathom. fathom it. Um, let's see. Williams asked for an investigation in which, according to the lawsuit, a lawyer for the university further traumatized him with questions about sexual past and orientation. It's cringeworthy the questions that he was asked. That thing said, "Stop the state." Then terminated Williams' housing and tuition assistance. Epstein says he managed to complete the semester by working remotely, then transferred to another school to complete his degree. So I, I think that's when he transferred. He didn't start from at Morehouse. He started at Coppin State. He transferred to Morehouse to finish up, and he played basketball. I think he played basketball last season for Morehouse College. So. I mean, the story was written um, November the seventh, uh, uh, twenty twenty-two. But like, if it didn't just, if it just all came out now, then I mean, it still, it still. And and for this story, and for them to sweep, try to sweep this under the rug, like I said, this reminds me of it. It, like this fully reminds me of Penn State. This right here, this 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 bozo right here is he's a pedophile. First of all, pedophile. I don't care what you're about to say. Pedophile. Sexual predator. Ain't got it all in his head. Don't matter. I don't, I don't care what you're about to say. Pedophile. Head up out. Because you was in charge. Once you became, once you graduated from the university, 
And Juan Dixon named you as director of player operations and the director of uh director of player development and basketball operations. Bro. Bro. You 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 are a pedophile. I don't care. I don't care if most of those kids is, is, is 18, 19, whatever. It doesn't matter. You are a pedophile. And I'm going to keep saying it until they go and lock your ass up. Because that's what you are. You are a pedophile. All right. Juan Dixon. My good sir, I'm sorry to say this, but you should not be the head coach of anybody's university. Or even high school, middle school, elementary school, whatever school, whatever. Anything that has to do with higher learning, bro, you do not need to be a head coach of nothing. You don't. You failed that kid. You failed. You and the school failed this kid right here. Y'all failed him. And for the school to, to come up with some bull junk, and say, well, we're going to have our own lawyers and they're going to ask you about what you do. And then if it don't align up to what we think about us, we're going to take away your tuition and your room and board. Coward. Coward. It, that, that's all I can say. Coward. For real. That's all I can say. Coward. But, like I said, Y'all got some explaining to do. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to say it in my, in my Ricky Ricardo voice. Lord, sir, you got some explaining to do. Just, you got some explaining to do. Uh, anybody want to come up on the stream and, and kind of voice say, you know, voice say opinion about this? Uh, I'm more than welcome to invite y'all on, on the stream. And, um, and have weight. It just said you don't got to put your. You don't, if you don't have to put your, you don't have to be on camera. You can um turn your camera off, but just make sure you have your microphone on, and you can voice your concern, you can voice your opinion, you can voice anything about this story right here, and we can have like a real live discussion. Because all of us in here got kids. Some way, shape, or form, fact. We got kids. And if our kid was in a situation like that young man, Mr. Williams, there wouldn't be no, there won't be no university. There wouldn't be no cop state. Like my kids right now, I got one that's, that's at Tarrant County, uh, Tarrant County College right now. Somebody messed with her. Out. TCC ain't gonna be no more. I'm gonna have my son, my stepson, go go to Jackson State in the fall, hopefully. And if something happened to him, I take my six-hour drive down to Jackson State, and I tell him politely to go where the sun don't shine and continue to tear down our church. Who the hell? And the parent, now, the parent for Mr. Williams was proactive after the fact that he was talking about the fact he said something about the drug use. But I think when he said that about the drug use, that was a code to actually talk to him. That was code for, I don't know about drug use, but it's the damn, it's, it's the food that pretty much a sexual predator. <laughs> Come on, real man. Look, it don't matter where they go. I, it don't matter where what school they go to, bro. If something happens to my kid, I would tear the school down. I would tear the school down. Don't matter. 
I would tear this through. I would it don't matter if they went to South Carolina State, don't matter if they went to Morgan, Norfolk, Central, A and T, uh 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 it don't matter. So man, it don't matter. Anything happens to my kids, I'm going after it. And that's just point blank. Point blank, period. I'm going after you. But if you guys, I mean, if anybody got an opinion or something to say about it, man, just go ahead. The, 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 the link to the screen is in the chat. And, and we can have a good old discussion about this. But if not, man, um, Close this case because I hope, I hope, and I and y'all know we do not do show. I do not do shows like this, y'all. Y'all know that most people that's been on this that's been subscribed to me for the longest they know that I do not do shows like this. I'm more about uplifting, and I'm more about uh uh basically doing with you know football and basketball programs and sports and the culture, but. We got to tell stories like this. We got to have, not they have, but we have to inform people about stories like this because it goes, this stuff like this goes on a lot and nobody never, nobody never says anything about it. Y'all got to re remember, it took, y'all remember when Penn State happened. That man, Jerry Sandusky, was doing that chunk from the 80s and 90s. It took almost 30 years to figure out that man was, was, was first of all, sadistic and horrible. And then, second of all, um, that Penn State wasn't, the, the, wasn't perfect. That Joe Paterno wasn't perfect. That the school tried to cover everything up about that man, and it still came down on about how one head coach of a football team had more power than the administration whatsoever. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. When I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, and when I'm, you know, when I read about that and I seen that, and then I remember, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm a big CSI Miami fan, y'all. I'm real big. My mama, she got me hooked on to that in the first 48 of how that happened. But my mom, she, you know, when it comes to A and E, she watches it and stuff like that. I was a big fan of CSI Miami, and I still am. Uh, even though the show hasn't been on for about over 10 years, I still a big fan of it. I still watch these runs, but I don't care. But they had an episode where it was a tennis coach that was, uh, sexually abusing kids at his tennis academy. And it reminded, it, it, the, the, the plot, the whole storyline came from what happened at Penn State. And like, if you do not Take control of situations like that. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the episode, uh, one of the kids' parents ended up being the coach. Dead. What I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying, y'all. If if you do not take control over control of stuff like that, you're gonna have parents. That's going to be so mad and so upset. They're going to take it out on somebody. They're going to take it out on the coach. They're going to take it out on the person. They're going to take it out on anybody that had any association with with said school. And then the next thing we're going to be reporting is uh, the next thing we're going to report is parent shoots coach uh, compensate. University basketball program, whatever. And I'm I'm not saying this is gonna happen. I'm just saying it it can get to 
to that. It, it can get to that point. Y'all gotta realize we live in a world of people that do not care. <laughs> we live in a world of people that do not care. And especially when it comes to their kids. I it, I black out when it comes to my kids, man. I was I was telling y'all. I tell, I'm just say it again. I was black out <laughs> when it comes to my kids. And for that instance, man, uh that I I feel you. This young man right here, I don't know what's what what he's doing now as far as what he did uh after he left the Morehouse. But this kid right here needs all the emotional support from from, from friends and family. Not Coppin State University. You don't need no support from him, from them. You need support from your family, from your the ones that love you the most, and the ones that's gonna pray for you. That's what your that's where your support your support should be at. That's who your support should be from. From them. But they watch you be go from from a baby to a young man, but in between you been you will be you been, you been tormented, man. You were tormented. And, 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 and you know, some like I think I am I'm, I'm that's a, there's another story for that right there. I, 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 it, it, stuff like this, story like this, just triggers right there. Just triggers right there. So, so yeah, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna just leave it as that right. Well, like I said, Chapter State owes you. Chapter uh, State owes you a great deal of uh, rest, restitution. Money can't fix it, but they owe you. They owe. They owe this young man, like for real. If they ain't gonna go, if they ain't gonna do that, then they just as dirty and they that this one of those black eyes that we do not need to have in the HBCU world. We don't. So I'm gonna say it just like this. Brownlee, y'all need to go arrest him. Uh Juan Dixon, you need to be fired from the State. Um Athletic director Derek Carter, you need to be fired from the school. Anybody that's in administration of Coppin State, y'all need to be fired. Because y'all failed this kid right here. Failed him. Failed him greatly. All he wanted to do is get his education, go play basketball for Coppin State. And you did nothing. You did nothing to make sure that. He was gonna be okay, but look, that's the time right there on, on this. Uh, so man, look, I'm a, I'm a, I got some good news, y'all. <laughs> I got some good news. Uh, first of all, before uh, before we do that, uh. Before we do that, Demar Hamlin, y'all, we, you know, we've been keeping up with Demar Hamlin since Monday night. You know, y'all know we've been keeping up with him for Monday night for the show. Um, um, his update, the update that that's going on with Mister Hamlin is, man, he is making his move. He is still in, in he is still in a uh, critical condition, but he is. What I'm hearing is he is making so many, so much improvement. Making so much improvement, man. 
And then another person that we need to put our arms around to from this situation is T. Higgins because it ain't his fault. He's a football player. He made a football play. Mr. Hamlin made a football play. That's it. That's it. That's all. Let's not bash T. Higgins about what he did, about what's hap- what happened. Nothing like that. Man, let's go hug that dude right there. Y'all go on his, go to his Twitter, go to his Instagram. Give him some encouraging words because he needed to. He needed just as much as this Mr. Mr. Hammond needs it. They both need it. And from what I read, she ain't left that boy's side since Monday. So they both need it. They both need prayer. They both need encouragement. They both need everything in the world to make sure that they're going to live a productive life. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's it. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm rooting for both of them. I'm rooting for DeMar to, to, to go when he gets out the hot to be able to walk and walk out the hospital hand in hand with his people, with his parents, um, and and make a full recovery. If you can't play football no more, bro, don't even worry about it, man. Because the Lord is going to take care of you tenfold. Don't, don't, don't ever, don't ever doubt that man. Don't, don't ever doubt the big man's blessing, y'all. That's, don't ever doubt the big man's blessing. So, man, I'm, I'm glad that he's uh, he's doing, he's getting much better. He's still at ICU, so uh, I think they induced the coma. So he, he I think he should be. Uh, um, from critical to uh, stable condition, and that's a that is uh, the biggest thing. Like go from critical to stable, and then from stable to the next to the next. If you walk this tail up out that hospital, so I'm I'm gonna just put it just like that. Now, uh, announcement, announcement is always you know. I, it's been a minute since I did announcements. It's been a minute since I did announcements, y'all. Yeah. Y'all got to excuse me. I got a new laptop, so I'm still trying to figure out some stuff like that. All right. Shout out to the announcements. Man, look, shout out to my wife. Y'all know, y'all know Miss Lady Holiday. She's always in the chat. She's at work right now, so she can't be in the chat right now. Uh, shout out to the wife. Uh, because uh, what I'm about to do is give a shout out to my cousin. This is going to be it. This is my cousin now. <laughs> Brother, bad boy, y'all, y'all, y'all trip me out. Y'all on the podcast. It's an awesome, great show. Awesome. It's, I love all the, the, the positive, the positive reinforcement. I'm going to say it like this. This is my cousin right here. My marriage, Mr. Frederick. Mr. Frederick is from uh, Los Angeles, California. He played uh, the standout volleyball player for uh, Cal uh, UC Santa Barbara. And uh, my boy, my guy, my Kimpo, he made uh, great strides in that program for the Gauchos over in Santa Barbara. Uh, he did go overseas. He played for uh, University of Texas, and, and he also played professionally in Sweden. When he was overseas, he actually became a uh, a coach, a coach, y'all. So, uh, you know, the last thing we saw, uh, we saw him in in March last year. Um, uh, unfortunately, of course, uh, his father passed at the funeral, but uh, with my, my uncle, uh, but y'all know, man. Look, God working in serious ways, man. I'm just telling y'all. 
just saying. I'm just saying. God works in mysterious ways. So, uh, yesterday, yesterday it ended immediately. Calvin University, which is a uh, private Christian uh, uh, performance university in um, in um, Grand Rapids, Michigan, in Michigan, yes, in Michigan. They decided to start a men's volleyball program. And guess what? They hired my kinfo. They hired my cousin to be the very first men's head coach of the men's volleyball program. My man about to go from Cali all the way to Cold Michigan. But it's, it's a great thing because now he is, uh, I mean, living the dream of being a head coach. Um, uh, and his face is, is ginormous, like, for real. And, uh, um, He gonna he gonna do some special things while he's there at Calvin University. Um, so they're not gonna start play until uh, twenty twenty four. Uh, so that basically gives him time to recruit, uh, uh, time to uh, kind of uh, uh, fiddle with the budget um, and the scout. And to put out a schedule. So, what's going on, Coach Simmons? So, my man, my my my, my cousin, he he's gonna be a head coach. And it's a uh, uh, Calvin University is a Division three school, uh, so. Uh, He's up there, I think, with the uh, Grand Valley, and I think they did it too. But, but y'all know what? Like, y'all know John. John. He's gonna be a head coach, the very first head coach in this program's history. So, and an ovation, and an ovation. And I'm gonna show this to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip this and I'm gonna show this to 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 the family over in, you know in California because uh, they gonna like they gonna love this they gonna love they gonna love this clip right now. But <laughs> as always, man, y'all know how it is. Y'all know how we do. Uh, y'all know how we do. Make sure. If you haven't done it by now, make sure that you become a member of the channel. You make exclusive member of the channel. Four ninety nine plus tax every month. Get all the perks. Get everything that goes along with being an exclusive member. So all you have to do is just hit that join button on the page, and that's it. And I, if you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to do it. I do. One but you say for this channel four ninety nine a month overdrive for it. And so once we can get keep it, get it going, then we don't you know like you gonna see all the perks, you gonna see all the good stuff come up come about this year. And like I said, the money does not just go straight in my pocket; it goes to uh, it goes towards the other channel. 
I got to say, of course, getting like a new camera, so of course, getting a new gimbal, uh, a soundboard, more lighting, uh, ring frame. Whatever it does, to, to whatever your, your contribution as far as either uh, becoming a member of the channel or even doing, um, even doing, um, what's the other for? Donation to, um, you know, even donate to, even donate to, with, with cash out. Like, we accept everybody. Um, they say, they say, give food, family, you accept food, accept food. But, <laughs> that's not, that's what we're doing there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how we want to do that. That's how we want to do that. Uh, also, also, uh, tonight, I will be at Paul Quinn College, checking them out, checking out men's basketball action tonight at Paul Quinn. So that means, man, look, I'll take a picture of the, of that beautiful basketball court that they have, y'all. If you haven't seen it, go on Paul Quinn's Twitter page. Uh, I think they should have some pictures up there on there. Uh, the, the, the court is amazing. I'm going to take pictures of it there. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it. I'm going to get some shots. I'm going to get some, some um, highlights and put that on, on the show. And, and you know what? Man, we're going to do I'm, like my boy said, I'm branching out, y'all. Man, look, what type of, Russ, Russ, if you got a way to help me do my background, for, for my background, give me, give, give, do it for me. Don't just be me yet, because I, I cover everybody. All right? But if you got something, man, create it. It don't matter to me. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. But, um, sorry about the, the delay earlier today. I mean, early in the show, uh, like I said, contact with bottom and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know how we do. Uh, I don't know how we do. Y'all know what we do. Uh, <laughs> it's your boy, Doc Holiday. We're back on the screen. This has been another HBCU Overdrive live stream, uh, where HBCU matters. Please, like, Screen, get that algorithm jumping. Make sure that you share this to everybody. Comment, good vibes, good comments, good comments. No negative, because we don't do negative stuff here. And also, the most important thing to do is subscribe. And if you're already subscribed to, if you're already subscribed to the channel, become a member, the exclusive member of the channel for four ninety nine a month. Uh, you can cancel any time. Uh, but believe me, you if once you um, and the school remember it's going to be all work, y'all. But, um, as always, y'all, look, man, y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Y'all stay safe. And most importantly, y'all stay dangerous.